Welcome back to Tales of Arise, where we are taking the fight to Renner. That's right. Let's uh, let's take out that great spirit. Uh, take off departure area. Yeah, let's go save the goddamn worlds. It would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. You know what that means. Time to go to Rena. I guess this means we should give that warp drive a spin. There's nothing here. Jeez. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Is this really where the Helganquil come from? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is... dead. Then this must be the Hollowing. You mean to tell me this whole world? The entire ocean is... that stuff? And it's covering everything. The entire planet. This is what the Great Spirit does. After it depleted this planet of every last speck of astral energy, it went after Dana. So arresting, this world of doom. Back in its day, Rena was probably just as vibrant as Dana is. But after being robbed of its astral energy for so long, those days are gone and past. This is all that will remain. So the Great Spirit took everything. It stole energy not just from living beings, but the land, the sea, everything. And it bound the Helganquil in servitude, until their whole world was nothing but this. And by the looks of it, that's how it remains to this day. A world of death and emptiness. With nothing left here to consume, the Great Spirit turned its sights on Dana, looking for another host. It's a freaking parasite. A space parasite. You're saying if we don't stop it, this is what Dana's going to look like? Yeah. We can be sure that even these few remaining remnants of Ren and life will not be spared in the end. If the oblivion and darkness both Shion and Naori saw comes to pass, Nothing will survive. It looks like we can climb down from there. Let's take a look. Destroyed remnants, Rena. So this is Rena. This is where everything began, yet it's a dead world? I won't let Dana suffer the same fate, ever. Is this to get back into the ship, I wonder? Probably. Okay. Oh my days. Look at this place, guys. Look at it. Actually, let's look at the skit first. hollowed ocean as far as the eye can see. What do you think would happen if we fell in? What do you mean, what would happen? You'd drown, wouldn't you? Come to think of it, I don't believe I've heard of someone ever trying. Perhaps you'd like the glory of being the first? No, 
I'll pass. This is essentially a world-sized Renan graveyard. Are you proposing to disturb the dead slumber just to satisfy your curiosity, Law? No, because I said I passed. Taking an interest is understandable, but let's not forget where we are. This place deserves our respect. Looks like we're not going to be hearing the end of this one for a while. You think I was already snorkeling in it or something? Alright, looks like there's a teleporter over there. And what is this? Another one over here? Actually, let's check out the skin. So the idea is to seal the Great Spirit inside the Renes Alma using the Sovereign and Maiden's power. But just how do we do that exactly? I'm guessing it won't be as easy as holding a spirit channeling ceremony at our leisure. I already had wielded astral energy once three centuries ago. As for suppressing her thorns, Shion's had a lifetime's experience. The problem isn't just our enemy's strength, it's that it's sentient too. And you can bet anything you like it's not going to just sit back and let us destroy it. In other words, we need to find some way to weaken it in advance. The Great Spirit, that is. Back when Xion's thorns flew out of control, we were able to deal with them directly. If this is their host, they should be even more corporeal here. If that's the case, it should make them easier to attack at least. And if we can manage to divert enough energy away from the spirit's core, even temporarily... We might just be able to weaken it enough to steal the Renis Alma, which we can then use to seal it away forever. It won't be easy, but it's our only shot. Time to buckle up! Seems like a reasonable plan. And man, we're getting a lot of skits here. Mm. Yeah, looks like we have to go over to this one. Jeez, look at this place. Looks like we've warped into that pit of astral energy. Question for you. Let's say, knock on wood, everything turns out for the best. What'll the world be like? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, at the end of this, do you really think everything will be that different? A lot will have to change, that's for sure. The world will have to adjust to so much. My only worry is if those changes turn out to be merely skin deep. What do you mean? It's well and good putting an end to Renan rule. But if it just turns the tables, it's all for naught. That's true. Just as bad if the Danans started pressing their own. Renans, Danans, Astral Art users, mages. The world is full of labels used to divide and separate people. If only we could see differences like that for what they are. No different to someone having a musical talent, or being good with their hands. Not differences, so much as characteristics. It will take someone in power to set an example. But with time, people will follow. And then, perhaps one day... There will no longer be any need for the example. It will have become second nature. That's where we come in! We can set the example! Imagine it! A world where magic and astral arts are used to help people! Where that's the norm rather than the exception. Yeah, you're right, Rinwell. Why wait for somebody else? We can show them ourselves. And retirement plans? Got a lot of skits. I wonder what Hilganquil's civilization was like at its zenith. I can imagine that'd be something you'd take an interest in. There's no question it must have been advanced, like none either world has ever seen. We could surely stand to learn a thing or two from such a people. I get that you're itching to delve into its history, but we've got bigger fish to fry right now. Put a pin in it, and you can do all the research you want when you retire. I can think of worse things than a retirement dedicated to research. As for whether Rena is amenable to an aging specimen... It's a little early to be giving it serious thought just yet. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Oh, we didn't say there's anything wrong with dreaming. In your case, Dohalim, Dreams have a habit of spiraling into something else. You'll need to stay with us for now, though. You're too helpful to let retire. Why do I feel this is less of a compliment and more of an ultimatum? Just a friendly suggestion. 
How's this dude talking about retirement? He's like 25. Okay, been itching for Go a fight. Quill. Guess they don't need their red woman disguises anymore. Wait, can you understand us? It's no use. We're not going to get through to them. So they really are being controlled. In that case, we've got no choice. All right, let's see what these. I knew can there do. was something off here. They're not pulling punches. We have no choice but to beat them at their own game. Ugh. Oh, not try harder. Oh, yikes. Okay. Take this. Mega Rack. Rack. This on. one's mine. Oh, the enemy here's ours, too. We'll soon see about that. Can't sort of rain out. I could do without the tank. You're mine. Oh, Shion. Healing is what my arts do best. All mine can do is coming through. Ha! No. Scarlet Inferno. All disasters done. In an instant. Impact block. We work well together. Nice. Like a finely timed wall. Dragon form. Holy Alpha. Burn it down. Dragon form. Dance in the wind. In here. You're mine. I'm nearly done for. Oh God! This is my fault. Let us from beyond imbue this vanquished foe with luck. Your commandos brings back. Alright, Law, what you got? This ends now! Consider yourself finished! There you go, Alvin! It's time to end this battle! I'm right beside you! Here, come here! Dragon Swarm! I'm ready! Hey! Pull them away! There we go. Woo! Alfin. I can't forgive them for what they've done, but I hate killing them. They don't even know why they're fighting. How does that even make them any different from the Danon slaves? Perhaps. However, if we don't make a choice, the guilt of not doing anything will be that much worse. Yeah, I know. I hate for it to be like this, but if it happens again, you won't find me hesitating to act. I wonder if we're going to get attacked again. If we lose heart now, this whole mission is over. We have to stay the course. Uh, is this something? No? Yikes. Um, yeah, I suspect we're gonna have to be doubling back to heal every now and then. Oh god, more, more baddies. Let's just check out the skip. Hey! Hey, I just realized something! Is this about dinner last night? I didn't realize those ingredients were off. What? No, I mean... Wait, you fed us rotten food? Rinwell, the point. Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So I was thinking about those armored soldiers we've seen. There are regular Renans inside them, right? Yeah, they're designed to make whoever's wearing them stronger. At least, I think that's the idea. Right. So it kind of begs the question, then. Why are they made so huge? I don't know, makes them more intimidating, I guess? Or maybe all that tech wizardry inside takes up a lot of space. You don't think it's weird how the armored soldiers are the exact same height as the Hell Ganquil? That's a good Can't point. Can't say I'd ever noticed it till now. And? Connect the dots, Law! Okay, let me get this straight. You think the armored suits might have originally been designed to allow Renans to work alongside the Helganquil? Huh. But if that's true, what would that mean? It would mean... just that, I guess. But still, 
Don't you think it's kind of interesting? Not hugely. Hey, Kisara, while well, I've got you, what's on tonight's menu? Because I was thinking, maybe meat? Get him, Hoodle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, 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 what did I do? Oh, now you want to listen. Keep pecking, Hoodle. Uh, ow, ow, ow. Seriously, what the hell? Oh, Lord. Thinning the HUD? You know, guys, when you think about it, we've taken out a lot of Zoogles. Like, a whole lot. You can say that again. If one thing's for certain in this world, it's that wherever we go, we'll always end up bumping into them. Isn't it weird that they're still so plentiful? You don't think the Renans have, like, a ranch where they breed them, do you? Certainly in all of my years, I've never heard of them constructing such a massive facility on Dana, let alone up in Lenigus. The only thing I can think of, then, is that the Feral Ones must be reproducing on their own. There's also no organized effort on our part to hunt them down, so it's difficult to fully exterminate them. Exterminate them? Whoa, don't you think that's maybe a little harsh? What do you mean? Zoogles originally used to be living creatures native to Dana and Rena, right? Being genetically modified isn't their fault. You're right. Zoogles were only created because of us Renans. We altered the original creatures to suit our own ends. First people made Zoogles, and then we let them go. And now we're trying to kill them because they're a threat. They really have only seen the very worst, huh? I hope we find a way to be able to live side by side with them one day. It's a nice thought, but they attack towns and cities. What else are we supposed to do? Aside from the strays that have gone wild, it's worth remembering that Renans are able to keep them somewhat under control. If we had distinct territories that didn't overlap, that might reduce the danger they pose. Well, I guess when you look at it that way, maybe people and Zoogles aren't so different after all. Man, there's a lot of skits. I'll try and balance how many how many we view at a time. Uh, the dog Zoogles. What is this? Grape gel. We're gonna have to fight it, won't we? Come on. Break the crack! This one's tough! Oh, Damn it! You picked the wrong fight! Lion Dragon Swarm! Your reflexes will not serve you well here. Okay, here I go! Oh, that's not the right one. Oh, it's okay. Ooh, what's that? You don't mess around. Nice one. Okay, oh, big fella. Delhas. Oh, just missed the big fella, huh? Fine. Okay, now after this big guy. There we go. I'm practically unstoppable. Okay. Right, that that wasn't so 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 bad. Let's check out this one. I thought there'd be more dirt and rocks and stuff underneath the hollowed ocean, but it's all artificial. I would imagine they're remnants left behind by the Helganquil, seeing as there's little actual land remaining. It's incredible. Do you think it stretches all the way down to the center of the planet? Hey, these guys built Lenigus, remember? They probably did this in a weekend. If they had the power to create things like this, did they really only use those immense capabilities to serve the Great Spirit? Or rather, was that the only use the Great Spirit let them use their capabilities for? I 
Damn, a lot of skits. Is this a dead end? It appears this whole room functions as an elevator. That apparatus there is likely what's used to control it. What the? Oh, Where did okay. they come from? Let's worry. More action. Concentrate. Dragon form. Yeah, I'm not so good with airborne targets. I owe you one. Pesty airborne scoundrel. Sounds like a job for yours truly. Go on and see him. See what you got. What are we getting more from rolling up? Okay, Shion, help us out, please. Thank you. There we go. I can't imagine what we'd do without you, Emma. Who, me? That's a little much, don't you think? I'm serious. You're a lifesaver. Dragonfly! Here's Evo! Here's Evo! Here's Evo! inside me! Yours to be less free! You're mine! Resonate with the Earth! The last mine! Short rain out! Rending you up! Then they get you away! This one's mine! Illuminate the dark! You're finished. Oh, he lives. Oh, Light burst four. Radiant Genesis. You don't mess around. Oh man. How many is this now? All right, let's uh, get serious. Oh wow. I'm merely doing what I can to help. Glad you're on us. Here's Evo. Where are you going? I'm ready. Astral energy. Say no more. Well done. Okay, so even though we're what a good maybe seven something levels below these guys, they, they don't seem to be so incredibly tough. But I mean, this seems to be like the unique battle anyway. This is like a X mini enemies lineup. Nice. Going on. Get toasty. Burn strike. Not today. 
This is, this is becoming insane now, guys. This is... Like every single boost energy at least once, Bo boost attack at least once in this battle. I have to be in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back. Ooh, my word! What happened there? What was that? Do we step out now? Even in such a we haven't seen anyone here except Helganquil. Looks like this place really is their home planet. The true citizens of Rena. What a shame that they have become nothing more than puppets to the Great Spirit. To think of the promise their accomplishments once held. They had the potential to be great indeed. Do you think we could have got along with them? You know, if we had met under different circumstances. Like... Like all of us, you mean? I suppose it's difficult to say for sure. We don't even know if they would see us as being on an equal level with them or not. I think we may have had the chance once. Before the Renan Great Spirit came along and... Changed everything. You and Alfin both share an optimism. A strong willingness to believe in hope. <laughs> Do you think that's foolish? On the contrary, I should like to take a leaf from your book myself. In Tragedy's Aftermath, hope is all we have. Okay, let's look at Free Will. I wonder how the Renans avoided being mind-controlled like the Helganquil. Do you think it might have something to do with the fact that they were originally Danans? I'd say it's likely. Which is pretty ironic when you think about it. Ironic? The Renans have committed grave injustices against the Danans. But it was all of their own volition, not because they were being controlled. Now, it turns out they themselves were once Danans too. Which must mean that the root of their evil isn't the Great Spirit, but something inherent in all of us. Our free will. Now hang on, though. It was that same free will that allowed Xion and Dohalim to choose to fight alongside us. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to beat hatred and forge all those connections we've made. Free will is what saved us, right? Law's entirely right. 
In any case, it certainly can't hurt to look on the bright side every now and then. Yeah. Where there's hope, there's a way. <coughs> what do you say? He said, without a doubt. Okay, through here. Um, we're here, I suppose. You think that pit stretches all the way to Rena's core? If that's true, and if we go down, we should find the Great Spirit at the bottom. We could get there even faster if we simply jump down instead. <laughs> you sound alarmingly serious when you say that. Just like the uh, waterfall in the old um, or Orium Falls, was it? Let's uh, head through here. something here pixie crystal nice okay so that uh, well let, let's check out this area upper side oh hello oh big monster all right let's have a quick heal Okay. I want what's in that chest. Do stand still so we can attack you, please. Come on. Is it? No, two more. Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. Yeah, big fella. Oh, Doha's, can you do anything there? Okay, come on guys, we're doing well, we're doing well. For my true power! Let's um, drop a... What do we get? Grape gel? 
Uh, no, let's drop an orange gel. Go Dohas. Let's bring ourselves back. Shion, can you help with it, please? Oh, no, Rinlock. There we go. Hey, anyone else think this might be a touch too dangerous? Ridwell's right. We should fall back to regroup and try again later. That wasn't that tough. It was just, like, he's got, he's got a lot of HP. Pain this will make us even more formidable. Alright, we know who that's for. Who wears vests? My boy. Look at that. A canine vest is better than a kingly vest. Okay. I won't argue with the logic. Uh, oh, we do need to heal. Oh, actually, you know what we can do? We did get some... Yeah, pretty fancy gel like here. There we go. And... Should we use another one? I mean, this is pretty good gel. Let's use a lemon gel. I mean, it probably makes more sense to use that um, grape gel, because it will just restore more, but... I don't know. We'll, we'll be okay. Okay, what do we got here? Actually, one thing I need to check. Uh, which we should probably do before we proceed further. Oh, yikes. Another big fella? Let us look. Um, yes. So we can fast travel back to the ship. That is fine. Uh, oh no, we couldn't access those lifts, could we? Yeah, that's right, we could not access the lifts. It's fine, we'll check there. Okay. Uh, yeah, we checked out, we healed. Okay, then do we fight this guy? Is this a boss or is this a random enemy? I mean, I'm... I'm curious now, guys. I'm really curious. These structures don't look like anything built by the Renets. Or even what we saw in the Forbidden Zone. Perhaps this is the true architectural style of the Helganqua. Or perhaps the opposite, given their situation. You mean like how some places favor building stuff with stone, while others rely on wood? That's an interesting way of looking at it. I'll have to inquire with Hevrecht 35 about it sometime. Nice, they're just admiring the architecture. This one will be Rending Mantis. I've used too much. Okay, which is we could work here. Negative 
Can you trap this guy? Law, can you bash him? Okay, let's hit him hard. Nice one. Boom. Go on, Dovers, do it. Okay, Shion, can you shoot him a bit, please? Okay, I need to start thinking about how these guys are going to be healing, so let's give everyone an orange gel. Oh. Why didn't I dodge it? Guys, he's on his last legs. Let's go. Everyone all in. Run well. Law, get a few hits in there. And finish him off with style, of course. Boom. So I still had room to grow. Very cool. Okay, now which way? It's this way, right? Yeah, this way. Ugh. What? Uh, no items. Okay, let's just uh, leave those guys there. Wah! With your flames and my technique. We're stronger together than we are apart. Oh. Okay, what have we got? Oh, big guy. Um, right, let's look through here. We'll need to consume some... Uh, let's go orange gel. Those thorns. I'm not letting them get in our way. Holy the cloak. Of this equipment is really interesting. Okay, we know who has the cloaks. We know. Boom. Run well. Um, okay, I think maybe a little heal is in order. Maybe something for Rinwell, something for Alfin. We still got apple gel. There we go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we're okay. All right, let's just take out the big fella. Fire 
Amazing! It can hide itself? Amazing! I mean, Take it. this! What? Oh yeah, this is the one that can be poison, isn't it? Okay, buddy. Doha's. Oh. Can you hold him down? Okay, I should use this opportunity to get some more orange gel for everyone. Wait, why didn't that work? There we go. Boom! Go, Kasara. That's what we were waiting for. There we go. Let's just knock it right back down. Oh, come on. We've got this guy. Doha's. Oh. Kisara. Boom. That's it. Okay, okay, we can do this. Come on, guys. We can do this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And let's finish him off with style. Boom. Lady Fortune must truly be watching over me. That is how it's done. Um, alright then. Guys, we're gonna take a quick break here. When we get back, we're gonna be carrying on traversing Renner. Seeing how tough these monsters are, seeing if we can survive them, and maybe heading back to the ship to get a little uh, a quick heal if necessary. Um, but that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.